guys, Jessica here from My Style Vita. I'm so excited to finally be sharing with you my everyday beach wave tutorial and my first YouTube video that I did by myself. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in because we've got a solid five minutes of hair curling to watch together. Uh, as you can see, I started to curl my hair in, with small pieces and I'm just using a one inch curling iron. This is my GHD curling iron, which I love. Uh, I also started with just a freshly blown out hairstyle. I just used a paddle brush, nothing fancy, no round brush, not really necessary. Um, I really like to use a one inch curling arm because it gives a really great curl um, or beach wave, shall I say. And the way that you really get that true beach wave is to also leave the last little chunk out. So you'll see right here, you see those two inches, just leave them out. And they're pretty much straight from my blowout that I did, but if they're not, you'll see I pull my hair through it so that you can ensure that it doesn't have any major kinks in it or is it flipping out or flipping under. So keeping those ends straight and the rest of the piece curled is how you get a really great beachy look. So I'm using this GHD curling iron, which is a ceramic iron. Um, I just find that actually titanium tends to be a lot hotter, but this is a really good quality ceramic curling iron. It gets up to 365 degrees. Heats up in 20 seconds, auto shut off, universal voltage, all those great things. You can shop that and all the products below. Um, I've also had this curling iron for like two years and it really is just super good consistent heat, which I think is worth the money, um, but I've linked a few more below. And I'm just going to continue to curl my hair. I'm speeding this up just a tad so that we can knock this bad boy out. Um, and you'll see as I'm going through my hair that I'm alternating going towards my face and away from my face. The ones around my face, I want them to be curled away, and then I just sort of alternate the dip, you know, going back and forth. There's really no rhyme or reason once I do the ones around my face. It's just nice to break up the curl pattern so that you, um, it's just not all big, one big curl. And also, can we talk about the paint spot in the corner? That's going to drive me about crazy. I promise to get that painted. <laughs> so again, just taking small pieces and I will say at the bottom of my hair, like the bottom half, I typically take larger pieces just because it doesn't really matter. But from about halfway up, I definitely use smaller chunks and it just sort of helps to give it um, a tighter, more narrow curl. So do you want to chat more about iron size? Because you could also use a one and a quarter inch, but I find that the one inch gives you a true beachy wave it just you know is more narrow and once you break up the pattern you'll get that nice loose wave whereas if you use a one and a quarter inch you'd get more of a wider voluminous curl all right so we're getting close to the top of my hair i definitely use smaller pieces here just because i want to make sure that i'm getting really good waves i'm trying to figure out what else i could possibly talk about with this just curling, just keep curling. Knock it out, people. All right, we're going back to normal speed. Because I do want to show you when I do miss a spot, I tend to use my curling iron like a wand, and I just wrap it around it. You'll see when I'm, um, I miss a spot. I always miss a spot. How do you not miss a spot? Every single time. But usually around my face, I will sometimes use the curling iron like a wand. So I'll just open the clamp and wrap it around. Again, just leaving that last little piece out. Oh, that was a good curl. <laughs> Sometimes you just get a really good curl, you know, and it just works. I think this is my last curl. Almost there, guys. You're almost at the end. The end is near. And you'll see I'm about to wrap it. A little piece that we find that, oh, that one. Yep. Mm -hmm. She needs a little more work. So I just use it like a wand. I actually like to do this because the clamp itself is hot, so it sometimes helps to make that look a little better and hold the curl better. Because when you use just a wand, there's nothing to clamp it down and add more heat. All right, now that we're finished, we're going to brush it out. Must brush it out because that is so important. And then I use my Beach Shine Spray, the bottom half. This is the Kristen S. It adds shine and separation. And then this, guys, the Working Texture Spray is gold. I can't live without it. This helps to add grit and texture and volume to your hair. I spray it into my root 
You see I'm spraying it up into it and then about halfway down. And that, my friends, is how I do my everyday beach waves. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos.